uh, can I ask you a question? Of course, that's why I'm here. Go ahead, Ibrahim. But not like before I'm you. Traveling to go ahead. Like I'm traveling to Africa. I'm gonna go to Africa, and then do I have to pray the fully prayer? Look. Like for example, if I'm praying Zoha, mm. Zohar, do I have to pray the fully one? Lucky you, Ibrahim, oh. you're traveling to Africa. Where are you going in Africa? Yeah. Where are you going in Africa? Which country? Kenya? I don't know. Oh, you don't Gambia. know? Gambia. 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 That's a beautiful place. How long are you going to stay in Gambia, Ibrahim? Two, two weeks. Two weeks in the same city? Yeah. Okay. Now, don't hang up. Listen to the answer. If you're traveling anywhere, a travel distance, then if you're staying more than four days, you start praying regular prayer once you arrive to your destination. So, so long as you go to Heathrow Airport, you're from the UK, at the airport you pray short. You start in the Dhuhr and the Asr, and you even can combine them. Two rakahs Dhuhr and two rakahs Asr. And you can also combine Maghrib and Isha, and Isha will be only two rakahs. Then until you reach there, once you decide to stay for more than four days, and you already said two weeks, like perhaps you're visiting grandparents or going for uh, a tour, if you're staying in the same place, you're not traveling to another city, then in this case you pray regular, four rakahs, you pray them four rakahs, okay? Barakallah okay. I hope the answer was simple, Thank ya Ibrahim. You. Thank you. You're most welcome. Ibrahim from the UK, MashaAllah. You brothers and sisters, encourage your kids to call and ask questions, even if the question is on your behalf. Train them to ask questions. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Inna dawa ul su'al. Teach them that we're traveling like Ibrahim. MashaAllah, uh, I'm told now he's uh, eight years old. We're traveling. So we're going to learn about the ahkam, the rules of praying in the plane, at the airport, making wudu, and uh, shortening the prayer and all of that. So that should be a concern, not only where we're going to eat, where we're going to dine, which places are we going to, the tourist attraction places, which hotel are we staying in. All of that is good to take care of. But what about the prayer times? We'll be flying six hours, seven hours praying in the plane. You can call in and ask the question yourself but it will be much better. And this is a good opportunity for the kids to practice so that when they travel in the future on their own, when they seek a job, they understand there's something that Allah said, his messenger said, we have to ask, what do they want from us? So Ibrahim's parents or parent or whoever is behind the call, may Allah bless you and your family and have a safe trip.